Welcome back, my name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. Hello, how are you? How's your dad? I have an awful garbage filthy mouth where sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to use the word fuck as a comma. I know, I'm marvelous. If you're not into that or weird stuff in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember our Tom fondly. Y'all, I was laughing because I said, how's your dad? And then it just made it seem like it was kind of like a, a weird sexy kind of like, how's your dad? But like, mm. when growing up, did you ever have that one friend that would just like ask you like that one friend, they'd be like, how's your dad doing? And at the time you didn't like realize it, but then you think about it and you're like, wow, I think that person was jerking it to my dad. Just me? Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> welcome to Makeup Bingo. <laughs> where the fun never ends until I get too drunk and then it becomes the crying game. If you are not familiar with New Makeup Nonsense Bingo, well, I have a treat for you, Gail. This idea was created by the wonderful, the beautiful, the flaky pastry to my non-flaky pastry. I don't know, y'all, all right? Emily Hanhan created this wonderful, beautiful idea and I'm just merely writing her motherfucking coattails. Essentially what this is is a new makeup release except we play it in a bingo fashion. There's a lot of science involved. There's a couple of adult libations. We're just rude, crude, socially unacceptable. It's a beautiful time actually. If you ever want to partake in this video, everything you need to know is listed in the description box below along with the community playlist. So definitely go check out some of the creators that have been playing this game. It's always fun watching people get shit faced. In any case, here are the possible makeup items that I may or may not be talking about today. Without further motherfucking ado, welcome to New Makeup Nonsense Bingo, Nostrovia. I'm drinking, <laughs> I'm drinking tequila with some elderflower in my Disney's Beach Club Resort mug because I asked my husband, Paul Giamatti, to make me a cocktail and this is what he came back with. He came back with something plastic because he could sense that I'm in a wild mood today. So we probably don't need glass around me. Any hoosies. Let's go look at some motherfucking makeup, all right? Okay, put this on my motherfucking face. I know I've already spoiled the bingo moment, I know. Can I tell you, I haven't been this excited for a MAC collection since, well, the Harris Reed collection. And actually that wasn't so bad. And if you wanna see a video of that, I'll link it up in the corner. But when I saw this, Something happened, like I felt a little throbbing. Oh, I think my makeup dick is getting hard for this one. And boys, it did. There is something so pretty about this collection. I don't know what, I don't know what it is, but the color story is just springy and fun. Even though we're technically in summer now, or are we in summer? We're almost in summer, whatever, fucking who cares? It just looks so fun. And then there's a blush and there's a highlighter, botanic panic, which makes me think of satanic panic. And I kind of love it just for that. I don't know why, but I like it. So this is coming soon. Oh my God, oh my God, wait, wait. Did it get released? Did it get released? Did it get released? Hold on. Hold oh, please, hold oh, please. 2000 years later. Yeah, okay, so this collection didn't get released, okay. In any case, I'm very, very intrigued by this. I'm very excited about this. I need to test it for science purposes, especially since there's a yellow and a green in there. I'm gonna say this right now, I have no expectations for this because I feel like for MAC, I really don't have any expectations. I kind of feel like MAC's a little overrated, but... <laughs> I was like, I, I, I said what I said. Ow. <laughs> That was the makeup community coming for me. Ow, in straw form, fuck. All right, so any hoosies, I need to put this on my motherfucking face. I will not stop until I have it. The swatch of that highlighter, bitch. Oh man, okay. 
Yeah, all right, yes. Okay, I need all of this. I need this, I need this, I need this now. I need to know when it's coming out because I need it. Anyway, I just wanna say, you know, um, welcome back, Mac, to the game, I guess. Actually, you know what, let me not say that because I probably jinxed myself and this collection is probably shit. Fuck, should've never said that. In any case, I'm gonna get it. I'll make a review on it so I can waste my money so you don't have to, all right? Uh, <laughs> with that said, let's call this, put this on my motherfucking face because I wanna put this on my motherfucking face. Next. It's not Pride Month until we get a rainbow palette. All right, so Morphe is coming out with the, uh, the same palette that they pretty much come out with every year. And this is the Live With Love palette, volume two. I would love to see volume one. I would Google it, but I just don't care enough. Anyway, so this palette retails for $20. It's 25 shades, representing what pride means, unity for all, diversity and representation, a rich and deep while being colorful and fun palette. All right, so you also get a brush set for 26 bucks and then there's a mirror for $12. Can I tell you what annoys me about Pride Month is that I feel like every company is just like, it's Pride Month, everybody just fucking put a bunch of rainbows on it so we can capitalize on this shit. And it's annoying because nine out of 10 times, a lot of companies do not donate any proceeds. I am happy to say, according to this trend mood post, that 100% of the net proceeds from this palette will be donated to the Trevor Project, which that's great. 100% of the net proceeds or a minimum $200,000 US will be made to the Trevor Project. I mean, that sounds good, right? Why do I feel like that's weird? Net proceeds. I give them credit for that, right? Although I'm still kind of like, I don't know. Is it just me or <laughs> when people make claims that they're going to be donating to something, do they ever follow up with the actual like donation? This is an honest question too. Like I'm trying to think of brands in the past that actually have said, hey, I'm gonna be donating to this. Have they ever followed up with like, hey, look, this is a picture of the giant check that we gave to the organization or whatever. I could be wrong. And, and maybe Morphe has done so in the past, but I don't know, I always get weary because I'm like, bitch, I want to see fucking proof because I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just pessimistic. I just don't believe people because people are the fucking worst. But in any case, I am happy that there are proceeds going to this organization because that's great. But at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's another fucking, it's another rainbow palette. It's usually the same fucking rainbow palette over and over and over again to capitalize on pride, which... You know, I kind of almost feel like, you know, instead of putting out a shitty product, why don't you just take the fucking money and just donate it to the charity or the organization? Like, you know, just saying. <laughs> Like, that would probably be more helpful than pushing out shitty fucking product that is probably not gonna be that great. Again, just saying, friends, just saying. I also don't buy the swatches either. I don't know. Something about Morphe swatches. Morphe in general, it's just, I don't know. Not feeling it, fam. But uh, in any case, I'm gonna call this a Morphe oversized palette. I could call this another rainbow palette, but being that it is 25 shades, you know, it's an oversized Morphe palette, a big palette that you're gonna have in your collection that you're gonna get overwhelmed every time you look at it. And nine out of 10 times, you probably have a rainbow palette in your collection that works 20 times better than this one. So just remember that when you're looking at makeup this month. Next. Oh, hello, Glam Light. Okay, so Glam Light is coming out with a thing called Icing Base. That's so fucking cute, Icing Base. So this is basically to help eyeshadow stay in place for long lasting wear. This looks very, very similar to the P. Louise base, except in way cuter packaging. I see in the comments that people are like, is this beauty bakery? You know what's really funny about it? The packaging alone is very glam light. By looking at this, I wouldn't think beauty bakery. I feel like there are two well-known food makeup companies. So you have glam light and you have beauty bakery, right? I feel like they have completely two different styles, completely two different styles. I don't see the beauty bakery vibe from this. This feels very, very glam light. It looks pretty cute. I also like the idea that it's 10 bucks. That's pretty fucking cheap, especially for um, a nice eyeshadow base. Does it work? That's a great question. I don't fucking know, but I would be intrigued to try it though. While I always enjoy concealer, I always look for other things that are a little bit cheaper because the concealer that I use for as an eyeshadow base is like fucking $30. Granted, it does last me a year and a day, but hey, if I could find something cheaper and that actually makes my eye makeup look even better, fucking eye. I, I'm all for it. So I'm intrigued by this. I'll pick it up. Oh, it's available now. Even motherfucking better. So with that said, we're gonna call this a food theme makeup item because it's a food theme makeup item and we're just gonna keep this uh, party rolling. Next. <laughs> so 
So Lunar Beauty is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette that is replacing Life's a Drag. And this is the Life's a Drag facelift. I never picked up Life's a Drag because I'll be honest, like at the time when it came out, I just wasn't into it. I was like, eh, like, all right, eh. Like it's half neutral, half colorful, all right. Like nothing about it interests me. I remember swatching it. Remember when swatching was a thing? Holy shit, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those days. Anyway, I remember swatching it actually with Emily Hanhan when we were in Sephora in Queens. And we both were like, holy shit, like the pigmentation is really good on it. From there, I have since purchased, I think all of Lunar Beauty's palettes because the brand really makes some nice quality shit. This one tickled my dick because listen, I'm getting older. I am approaching the age where I really love me a neutral palette. And this shit is like fucking great. Cause in my mind, I'm like, bitch, it's the best of both worlds. I can have my neutral moment and a pop of color. So if I want to be like, and with a wild side, I can do that. And I love that. Based on previous palettes quality, that's why I picked this up. I was like, you know what? I can fuck with this and I'm going to fuck with it. So this palette retails for $48. It includes 21 shades. The original palette had 14. Yeah, the newer palette just looks so much more appetizing. Maybe it's the green that is literally making me shit my pants or like the row of metallics. Either way, like I'm fucking here for it. So, so expect a video whenever this fucking arrives, but I'm excited. So on my bingo card, I'm gonna call this shit, what am I gonna call this? A food, a food themed makeup. <laughs> We're not gonna call it that. We're gonna call this, I already bought it. <laughs> Cause you bitch already bought it. I need to slow down on my drink here. Cause my words are getting all kind of fucking jumbled. Next. Oh bitch. Okay, first of all, I understand why every fucking company is coming out with a fucking makeup line. It's getting to be too much. It's a lot. Like a lot, a lot. I need them to slow the fuck down. But at the same time, I'm a nosy fucking bitch, okay? So Valentino is coming out with all kinds of shit. I have to say, like instead of teasing out one or two products, like Valentino was like, bitch, we're gonna fucking give you everything. So I kind of appreciate that. Twin liner, $40 for a fucking liquid liner. Are you fucking kidding me? How are you gonna charge $40 for a fucking eyeliner? That shit better for, I, that for $40, wait a second, hold on, hold on, hold on. Double ended 16 hour wear liquid ink liner. Okay, for $40, I better be sitting right here and it applies it on my face by itself. If I have to pick up that product for $40 and fuck up my eyeliner, I will go insane. <laughs> And I will take you all with me, okay? I will tear this world apart. Because are you fucking out of your mind? I could literally just go to fucking CVS and get a $5 Wet n Wild thing and have the same fucked up experience for $35 less. Are you out of your mind? What the fuck is in this formula? Does this shit spin gold while you're asleep? I don't understand it. What is this Rumpelstiltskin bullshit? Okay, so we have the clutch. The clutch is $235. Not gonna lie, the clutch is kind of fucking cute. But am I gonna be an asshole with that? No, first of all, I live in New York City. People don't have time for this. They would look me up and down and be like, get your ass out of here, like you're done. Turn in your driver's license and go move somewhere else. You are not allowed to be here, all right? That's what would happen if I was walking around with this shit. But again, it's kind of cute, but whatever, we're gonna keep it going. But it's fucking stupid at the same time. So on this little clutch, you can have, you have your face powder and you have a lipstick. Okay, like it's so weird. Like, is it necessary? No, but you know someone's gonna buy it. Ugh. And then there's like a chain component. Like, are you walking around in the clubs with a fucking like chain? Like, who is walking around like this? What the fuck? Okay. All right. I can't. I can't. I can't. All right. <sighs> calm down. Calm down. <laughs> All right. So we discussed the twin liner. $40. Go, go fuck yourself. Stick with me glitter primer. $25. What? Wait a second. Stick with me glitter primer. Primer. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to go to the self riches site. Hold on. Are you fucking kidding? Hold on. No, 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 no. I'm not doing this today. I'm getting heated. I'm getting, I feel myself getting red. <gasps> These motherfuckers are charging $25 for glitter glue. These motherfuckers are charging $25 for glitter glue. I've seen it all. I'm 
officially seen it all. $25 for fucking glitter glue? This better eat my fucking ass, okay? It literally better eat my ass because that is bullshit. Are you fucking, this shit, this fucking shit is literally $8.99 in Ulta. And every fucking, every other week they have a sale where you can buy one and get the other one for 50% off. I have literally 15 of these motherfucking tubes, okay? <sighs> $8.99 is probably the most you should ever spend for fucking glitter glue. With New York City tax, probably comes out to about almost 10 bucks, like nine and change. That is the highest you should fucking go, okay? This bullshit, get out of here, bitch. Get the fuck out, $25. I, I don't wanna be on this planet anymore. Who the fuck gives you the right to fucking, who get, what the fuck? All right, hold on. There's more, there's more. Mascara, $32. I'm not even gonna come for the mascara because bitch, listen, I fuck with like a $72 mascara, all right? It works, it's beautiful, it's fucking great. I swear by it, but it's $72, so I have no room to say anything. $30, $32 sounds pretty reasonable. Your glitter primer is not that far off from it is disgusting but I'll keep going. So then you have the lipsticks, $55, which I feel like is pretty comparable to higher end, like Gucci or whatever. Refill is 30, comes in 50 shades. It looks like it's 50 shades of fucking red. You have the Go Cushion, which is a cushion foundation, comes in five different shades. The refillable cushion comes in five different shades. That retails for $78. I mean, listen, I have the Chantecai Cushion Compact. That, I believe, is like, what, 125 But with that, you get two of the compacts. So you get two foundations in one, essentially. So I like expensive shit. I get it. So I'm not gonna come for that. I'm not gonna come for that. The actual foundation retails for $64 and it comes in 40 shades. So that, you know, that's good. That's good. Hold on, I haven't seen the shade range on these fucking things, but, ooh, okay, ooh, all right. <laughs> The shade range on the deeper skin could be a lot better, but C for effort. <laughs> there are some that are deeper, but there could be more. There's a shitload of uh, fucking light foundation. A lot of them kind of almost bordering the same. So maybe there's different undertones. I don't know. I'm not going to go researching too much into it, but just kind of eyeballing it. It could be better. You have an eyeshadow palette that's $58. It's 12 shades. You have their eye glitter, $32. Fuck you. You have a highlighter, brow trio, $40. Again, again, for these prices, I expect the makeup to jump off the fucking table and act like a tiny little makeup artist and fucking do my makeup instead of me. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Fuck you. Oh my God. All right. Uh, my brain hurts. My brain hurts. I'm broken. I, I, I officially broke. I don't know what to fucking say because I cannot believe the prices on some of these fucking things, especially for a new brand. Like, I, I, <laughs> I mean, it's like I want to give them points because it's like, all right, they're releasing a full line. Like, hey, there's something for everybody. Like they're giving you two different options for foundation, this and that, whatever. But the pricing, like, is this made out of gold? Like, who the fuck do you think you are charging these kind of fucking prices? Like, that said, the embossing is very pretty. Like I like the little design of like the Valentino symbol. Like I think that's really cute. So in my eyes, it's like pretty embossing basic makeup because I feel like at the end of the day, this is gonna be basic ass shit. Very comparable to what you already have in your collection, unless something is fucking life changing. I kind of have a feeling it's gonna be shit. I just like have a sinking suspicion that it's just bullshit and that they're just charging these prices because they can. And that's what's fucked up about it. It's just because you have this established name you think you can like, you know, just come into the beauty sphere out of nowhere. It's it's wild how many brands are just popping up with their own beauty brands. It's because there's a lot of money to be made in this field and a lot of it is just bullshit quality. Fuck that. Fuck this. Anyway, we're gonna call this pretty embossing basic makeup. I'm gonna continue to drink my drink because I'm visibly upset. Next. Well, I can't get over that Valentino shit. Are you fu- Ugh, all right. The next one is Kat Von D. Oh, fuck. I mean- <laughs> Oh, shit. Freudian slip. KBD Vegan Beauty Sunshine 
cupcake lover. Oh my god, look at you coming out with a new palette that I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was fucking wet and wild initially because that's what this is. That's what it looks like anyway. Yeah, the packaging is kind of uh, wet and wild, not gonna lie. I thought this was wet and wild. I was like, oh shit, wet and wild's actually coming out with like a bigger eyeshadow palette. Good for them. And then I was like, oh, scary. This is, this is good old KBD, fuck me. I get it, the recyclable packaging, which I mean, listen, I'm in love with their foundation. And the packaging now, I guess when I look at the foundation, I guess, yeah, it kind of makes sense. They're going with this whole kind of recyclable packaging, blah, 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 blah. It's just not aesthetically pleasing. It kind of looks like shit, if we're gonna be honest here. This is probably a fucking $40 palette. That's the irony of it. It's probably like $40, $45. And the packaging is something that you would immediately think you would find this in a Walmart for $9.88. <laughs> That's just how it is, sis. So, yeah. All right. Um, I actually wound up picking up a KBD palette, their holiday palette, when I got drunk one day. And <laughs> I really wanted the little contour duo. I saw that palette on sale. I don't know, it was like $12. It was like something stupid cheap. And I got it. I haven't even fucking used it. And then I remember um, kind of putting makeup away and I had it in my hand. And I was like, why the fuck did I purchase this? And I was like, oh, that's right. I got drunk love that for me it's relatable right 100 <laughs> percent. it's how i ended up with um a dyson fan <laughs> but i love that little dyson boy he's so good okay in any case it's a basic ass bitch palette but it kind of feels like a copycat of every wet and wild 10 pen palette i've ever seen in a fucking cbs so we're gonna call this major copycat vibes because that's what it feels like oh yeah there's nothing about it that is like interesting or anything not doing anything for me. I feel nothing. I feel nothing. Next. You know what's really funny? <laughs> Do you remember what was it? Was it like a year and a half ago? Norvina, right? They just pumped out palette after palette after palette after palette after palette. Like little palettes, big palettes, fucking lipsticks, whatever. Like they kept launching shit. And then people were like, enough, stop hurting us. And then they were like, fine, we'll stop. And it's like, they went to the factory and they just like turned the lights off and they walked away. And then like what, a year and a half later, it's like, they just flip back on the lights. They let the machine run and then they just start producing the same shit that they probably would have came out with two years ago. That's what this is, bitch. <laughs> like, I feel like they've been sitting on this for a hot minute. Because they were like, oh, f f the people are really upset with me. I cannot launch anything. Let's put a pin in this. And then they just waited. And then this is probably collecting dust. Perry Morphe vault palette situation. <laughs> oh, God. Or no, is it Morphe Jaclyn Hill 2 palette? Dude, I don't know. Makeup industry is fucked up. It's just fucked up. So Norvina came out with a 25 pan palette for 60 bucks. Same price as the other Norvina palettes. This one pretty much just looks like a cross between Soft Glam and the Norvina palette from ABH. So if you still have those, I think you're all set. <laughs> you need this one because even the Norvina palettes like they're fine they're all right do I gravitate towards them no should I declutter them probably I don't like I like I look at them and I go oh huh. okay and I just keep it going I just keep it going because there's nothing about the formula that was super revolutionary in my eyes it was fine but it wasn't $60 fine, baby. It was more like a $35 fine, okay? It's actually kind of funny because when this was initially launched, I was like, I've seen this before. It was like a, a Mandela effect almost. So it was like the Berenstein Bears, the Bernstein Bears, or what, I think it's the Berenstein, or I remember it as the Berenstein Bears. Or the yeah, right? Like, I was seriously thinking about this and that's how I kind of feel about this palette a little bit. It's just like, this looks really familiar. Didn't I already see this before? I don't know. This is wild. I'll give them credit for making me think. That's as much credit as I'll give them because I am not giving them any fucking money. Also, listen, if you want a good purple palette, like if you want the best purple palette you're ever going to get, you can go to the Viseart website, you can go to Beauty Bay, or you can go to Camera Ready Cosmetics. And I'm mentioning Camera Ready Cosmetics because I actually have a coupon code. I don't make any money off of this. It's the code 
garbage. And I'm gonna be doing a video from some of the stuff that I have gotten from them. It's been fabulous, like some by Terry, Ritual Defeat, whatever. Like they have some really good fucking brands. I just noticed that Camera Ready Cosmetics will have the Violet Viseart palette. It says coming soon, so I imagine it's probably going to be available quite shortly. You can save a little bit of money because the palette's about $44 if you use the code garbage. So keep checking that website. Save yourself fucking 10%. Go buy that palette. That will be the best purple palette you will ever have in your fucking life. You do not need anything else. I don't need to look at any other purple palettes because that purple palette from Viseart is like the fucking end all be all that is coming in the fucking casket with me. It's beautiful, bitch. Okay. Highly recommend 10 out of 10 five star Yelp review. <laughs> I recommend looking at that. If your makeup dick is really hard for purples, that is the only purple palette you should ever have. You will fucking thank me, okay? And I have to thank Mel Thompson for that one because Mel was the one to show me that palette. It's beautiful. It's worth every fucking penny. In any case, get that. Don't get this Nervina bullshit. Fuck it. So with that said, we're gonna call this shit same shit new packaging because I kind of feel like this is the same shit that they keep putting out time and time again. They just switch up the packaging every once in a while. Next. The next thing is from Jacqueline. Jacqueline Cosmetics, bitch, how are you? All right, so Jacqueline's coming out with the Bad and Rougey collection. Is it just me or did the promo pictures just seem a hell of a lot cooler than the actual products themselves? I loved her whole little video. I loved her kind of like this Marie Antoinette kind of a vibe. That was really fucking cute. I was like, oh yeah, awesome. And then when I actually look at the products, I'm just kind of like, okay. There's nothing about them that screams I need to have them. They look very basic and I don't like the packaging at all. I don't know, there's just something about it that just feels so not polished. Does that make sense? Like it's just, I don't know, like there's just something about it that just doesn't, it's like someone made this in MS Paint, you know? <laughs> I know it's fucked up to say, because I know there's probably a graphic designer that worked really hard on this, but I just, I don't know, it just looks really shitty. And when something looks really shitty, unfortunately, I'm less interested in wanting to try it because it just looks so shitty, I can't get over it. It's like the people I fucking hate when I watch House Hunters. Like, they can't look past the wallpaper. It's kind of how I feel when I look at this. Like, I can't look past the Rouge Romance. It looks so fucking stupid. This collection, you have the Mood Light Luminous Rouge for 30 bucks. So it's basically like loose powder blush. I'm gonna stop you right there, fam. No. <laughs> that just sounds fucking messy and just, I'm not here for it. That just does not sound like a good time. So I'm gonna say no to that. The cream to powder blush stick. That sounds interesting. That I could potentially fuck with. It's $22. It's a cream to powder blush that transforms on the skin from a gorgeous effortless wash of color. Okay, I'm listening. I'm kind of paying attention to that a little bit. Then you have the Rouge Romance Matte Blush Palettes for $45. No, those are the things that look really, really ugly. I don't like them. They scare me. <laughs> and then you have the Romance Lip Cushion for 18 bucks, which uh, kind of look very, very similar to any M Cosmetics product I have ever seen in my life. So kind of for that, I want to call this major copycat vibes because it just, it reminds me of it. Um, I don't know, I'm just like not really into this whole launch. Loose blush is something that it's messy and it's something that I just don't have the time to do. Even though I'm a fucking worker from home, bitch, I don't have the time for loose blush. Who does actually? Who the fuck was that product for? It's probably for a lot of people. I'm just being a crabby patty and that's fine. Some things are just not meant for me and I have to accept that and I feel like this is one of them. But everything else though, I don't know, like I just don't feel like anything towards it. I feel nothing. It's kind of like that ex-boyfriend when you had when you were younger. I'm in love with him. Like I can't. My whole life is around because he's not around. And then one day you see him like 15 years later in a stop and shop picking out root vegetables and you're like, what the fuck was I thinking? I feel nothing. And that's how I feel. I feel nothing. Okay. I feel nothing to this collection. <laughs> <sighs> So I'm just gonna call this major copycat vibes just only purely for the lip cushion because it just reminds me of M Cosmetics. I'm just gonna call it a day. Next. Can I tell you I kind of forgot about this brand? <laughs> Makeup by... <laughs> 
<laughs> realize how fucking shady and shitty that was. Makeup by Mario is coming out with a bunch of new stuff. We haven't heard from the brand in a minute. We're getting Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick, 28 bucks, okay. Soft Pop Blush Stick, $28. A Soft Sculptor Bronzer, $28. A Soft Pop Powder Brush, 24 bucks. And a Soft Glow Highlighter, $28. And then there's three brushes. Um, you know, bah, 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 bah. the blushes look pretty. The blushes look really pretty. They look really nice. And the highlighter looks really nice too. And the contour -y face powder, that looks fine as well. Like all this looks nice, but I, I don't know if I need it. Ooh, that, that highlighter actually looks pretty fucking good. The opal one, ooh, that's kind of calling my name a little bit. Here's the thing, I think I initially was gonna be like, meh, I don't really fucking care about this because I purchased stuff from the first collection. And you know, to be honest with you, I didn't think it was anything special. I thought it was a lot of stuff that was pretty much overpriced and comparable to what I have in my collection. Probably a little bit worse because I have things that are a little bit better. My biggest takeaway was the mixing medium, which I later found out I could, you know, get it for much, much fucking cheaper from another brand because it was literally the same fucking product. So I think um, I'm a little apprehensive about wanting to check anything else out from the brand, but I am getting a little drunk. I am, not gonna lie. Kinda wanna try it. <laughs> I think what I might do, if I continue to keep drinking, <laughs> I think if I keep drinking, I'm gonna purchase something from this collection. I think I am, fuck it, you know what? Cheers, I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna get something. So I'm gonna call this um, Drunk Me With Purchases because Drunk Me is about to buy something from them. Next. Actually excited for this. This I'm really, really excited for. So Glam Light, which by the way, what are they? ColourPop? Fucking pulling them twice. Glam Light is coming out with a palette with Michaela. And if you don't know who Michaela is, Michaela is a wonderful influencer on TikTok. She is fucking, fucking adorable. I feel like I have to say it like that. She's from Massachusetts. Her accent is amazing. Okay. She's like Pat too. And it Fucking, I, I love New England accents. New England accents are the most fucking cutest things ever. I just, listen, I will watch The Departed movie a million times just to listen to fucking some bad New England accents, okay? That's how much I love it. So, Michaela, I discovered her on TikTok one day when I was on the toilet. I know, don't be that person, but whatever. I like my TikTok on the toilet. And I was like, who is this beautiful little goddess? And what I loved about her was that she was very authentic and she was cursing and she wasn't like this cookie cutter bullshit influencer that we fucking all know and ugh, there's ugh, whatever, I fucking hate it. She seemed very much herself. How she presents herself on camera, I feel like is very much how she is in real life. Like that's just kind of the vibe that she gives off. And I respect creators like that. Ones that do not feel like they have to hide because those people suck. I like the people that are real and she just seems really real. Anyway, so I have been following her on TikTok for a while now. She always has super fucking colorful eye looks and she just seems like a little cute fucking sweetie, all right? So when I heard that she was coming out with a product with Glam Light, I couldn't think of a more perfect collaboration because Glam Light usually has very, very beautiful, colorful color stories. It just seems very much like a perfect pair. So when this does come out, which looks like June 13th, I'm gonna pick it up and review it because one, I definitely wanna support her. And um, I do love Glam Light's quality. And I haven't gotten a new Glam Light palette in a hot minute. And what they have been teasing online looks pretty fucking good. There's some purples and yellow, blue. It's a very, very colorful palette. I don't really have anything like bad or anything funny I guess to say except like I'm happy for her and that's really fucking awesome and I invite you if you don't know who she is definitely go uh, check her Instagram out and everything and also just watch the little video that they put on Glam Light where she talks about her journey it's so fucking sweet it really is so in any case I'm very very excited for her I'm very excited for Glam Light I really look forward to checking out this collaboration when it's available and um yeah just excited I feel like a proud mama bear I don't know her <laughs> Like, I, I don't know her from a fucking hole in the wall, but she just seems like a very, very lovely girl. And I think she's like 22. She's like a baby. She's, I can literally cradle her. She's a fucking baby. And I'm just really happy for her because it's an amazing opportunity. So with that said, I don't think I can call this anything except um, good job, sweetie bear. And uh, yeah, I guess we can go on to the next one. Next. <laughs> Okay, so I kind of feel like this is definitely the year of the blush. Like everybody and their mother is coming out with the fucking blush. And I believe I was saying this in the last episode, or maybe the episode before it, that, you know, I'm kind of 
cool on eyeshadow palettes and like we should like slow down a little bit and like I'm more interested in face products. I kind of regret saying that. <laughs> Because I feel like everybody's coming out with blush and a lot of it is kind of the same and nothing has really been like shit my pants amazing. But this though, there's something about this that just looks so fucking cool that my dick gets hard just by the packaging alone. This is from Armani. This looks so cute. This is a melting color bomb. So this is kind of a little bit interesting because this is like a color bomb. So I guess, well, maybe not. Maybe it's not that fucking interesting. It's a cream blush at the end of the day, right? Maybe it has like a lighter opacity. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, there's no real swatches or anything. There's like one campaign photo of this beautiful model. Doesn't really give me much of anything like i i don't know if this is something if, if she's putting the blush product on her eyes or if it's on her cheeks or if it's on her lips or maybe it's all three i don't know i i this this product is kind of like a mystery in a way which makes me even more intrigued the colors look really really pretty i just want it i just fucking I just want it. It kind of gives me a little bit of the Gucci bronzer vibes where it's just really beautiful fucking packaging. I don't even care if like the product sucks because it's just gonna look really fucking sick behind me. And that's what I like about them, which is really fucking superficial and bullshit. But again, I really fucking, I like it. I like it. I want it. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> Anyway, this is supposed to come out sometime this month. I haven't really heard anything else about it. The packaging looks fucking adorable and literally my dick is hard for it. And I wanna know more about this product. So hopefully we'll, we'll have something more in due time. Next. <laughs> Oh, Patrick Ta, Bubby. All right, can I tell you, this is a fucking Ann palette, bitch. And I bought it, I bought it, I bought it. It's $68, I know, I wanna throw up too. But I was like, I need to get it. My Ann parts were throbbing and I knew I had to have it. I had to fucking have it. It's a got to have item that I got to have. It looks beautiful. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the little teddy bear palette from, I'm about to say Target. Wow, Too Faced. <laughs> Target, whatever, it's the same shit, right? Too Faced, except I can't really use that one because it has coconut in it and it fucks up my face. So I'm hoping that this one is good. Oh my God, he also came out with gel liners. Bitch, I didn't even know that. Anyway, uh, I purchased the palette because I needed to have it. The Anne inside of me demanded it. <gasps> but I was unaware of the fucking eyeliners. <sighs> It's fine. Usually eyeliners are very, very hit or miss for me. I stick with what I know and what works for my watery eyes. If they have such amazing glowing reviews, maybe I'll think about it. But in any case, I'm excited for this fucking palette. I really have no expectation, except if this palette sucks for $68, I will fucking riot, all right? Uh, you know what? I shouldn't have any high expectations or anything because can I tell you, I think the last makeup bingo, I bought the Il Maquillage stuff. It's terrible. <laughs> terrible. I'm gonna make a review on it because that's how mad I am about it. I spent $162 on basically bullshit. <sighs> but I digress. I hope it's a much better experience because I have liked the products that Patrick Ta has put out. I've had quite a few blushes. I have the bronzer contour duo thingy. So I never tried any of the eyebrow shit, but I heard really good things. So I'm intrigued, but also nervous at the same time. In any case, this is going to be arriving shortly. So expect a review on it, especially for $68, I think a review is in order. All right, um, so with that said, I guess we're gonna call this an Ann palette because this is a motherfucking Ann palette, bitch. Pretty Ann palette, boring ass bitch. <laughs> Next. Oh my God, that was quick. That was really fucking quick. We hit fucking bingo. I didn't even pull ColourPop. I feel like there's something wrong in the world. There's something slightly off. I'm gonna have a bad day because of it. Because we didn't appease our Lord and Savior, ColourPop. I don't know, did you get the chills? Cause I did. Let me know down below what you think about these makeup products. If you're gonna be picking up anything, are you skipping out? Are you also visibly upset with the Valentino bullshit? Because I still cannot stop thinking about it. <laughs>
<laughs> also, please check out the wonderful creators from our beautiful playlist. And of course, if you ever want to play this game, everything is listed in the description box below. And with that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free and hit that bell, I hit bell, bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon to all my beautiful, wonderful patrons. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, drunk garbage boat afloat i couldn't do without you and i love your adorable little delicious faces and i, I just want to i just want to love up on you i just want to hug you just love up on you just give you a big old bear hug it's gonna be great don't fight it <laughs> it's gonna be great <laughs> If you want to get my merch, my bloopity blah, 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 everything is listed in the description box below. And I'll see you little lamb chops later. Bye.